Welcome to Take 5, your five-minute inspirational message from Solid Rock Drogheda. Over the last few messages, I have been sharing about some of the things I learned very early on as a Christian believer in order to strengthen me and establish me in my faith. I've talked and things that, of course, that are essential to all of us to be established in our faith. I've talked about reading the Bible on a regular, systematic basis. I've talked about uh, finding good books that actually encourage us and enable us to understand the great Christian truths and to appreciate the Bible better. I've talked about the importance of, of prayer and praying in a regular and a systematic way. But as well, another thing that, that was absolutely crucial for me as a young man who had just come from a life of homelessness and addiction and coming into a totally new life in Jesus Christ. But one of the other key things that helped me was fellowship with my fellow believers. You know, the Bible, of course, does say that we should not, not neglect the assembling of ourselves together. Why? Because there's so much to be gained by coming together as that corporate body, the church of Jesus Christ. When you read the promises in the Bible, most of the promises that are addressed to us, for example, in the New Testament, are, and, and sometimes it's harder for us to catch this in the English language than it is in the Greek, but so often the promises are not individualized. You know, we have, of course, in grammar, we have the second person, what we call the second person, where it says you can do this. And in English, it's not always clear whether we mean you singular or you plural. But in the Greek language, but the ending is different. And it's always you can immediately tell whether a command is addressed to one person singular or to a group of people together. And nearly all the scriptural promises in the New Testament are addressed to the plural. They're addressed to us together. To put it quite simply, we experience the blessings of God and the goodness of God as a corporate body, the church. Now, of course, we then in, we experience that in our individual lives, in our individual prayer times, in our individual homes. But we experience them because we are part of something greater we are part of the body of Christ. We are part of the bride of Christ. Now, I know that uh, we've been through in the last two years, we've been through lockdowns, we've been through restrictions, and many people have got used to worshipping at home and, and using online content. And uh, that was su such a blessing. I can't even imagine what the last two years would have been like if we didn't have access to all of that. And I appreciate that there are still a good many people who, for health reasons or reasons of age or whatever, are unable to meet together regularly with their fellow believers in a physical way. Uh, you know what? There's always been people that that has applied to. Uh, back in the, for example, in the first century of the church, there were those who were imprisoned for their faith. And there still are today in many parts of the world people who do not have the opportunity to fellowship with others. So what I'm saying is this, that if you're not able to meet together with other people, then thank God that there is such a range of online resources and material to help. And I and others are committed to making sure that that kind of material is available to you. But if you are able to meet with other people, if you are able to fellowship with other Christians, then please don't allow a video screen or the screen on your, on your tablet or your phone or your computer to become uh, a substitute for meeting together with other Christians. If you are able to meet with other Christians, there is a blessing. Now, I believe God will make that blessing up to those who genuinely are not able to meet in that way. But for those of us who are able to, we need to meet with our fellow believers. We need to worship along with them. We can make all kinds of excuses for that. We can say, well, the church, I don't like this in my church, or I don't like the songs they sing, or, or whatever it might be. The church is not perfect. You and I are not perfect. The church is a gathering of imperfect people who gather together with an expectation that God will do something in their midst. I love the church. I love being part of the church. 
Uh, personally, I myself am quite an introverted person. I spend, I, I often get energized by just spending time on my own and doing things on my own. That's just my personality. But I want to say I love being part of the church and I love meeting with the church and I love worshiping with the church. And today I give glory to God for being part of a fellowship of a greater group of people and the opportunity we have to meet together. And if you're able to, please meet together with your fellow Christians over these coming days in Jesus' name. And God bless you. Join us again uh, next time for another Take 5, your five-minute inspirational message from Solid Rock Drogheda.